campus. Stand up, fight back! Okay, say it like you mean it. What are we gonna do when hate comes to our campus? Why we are protesting today is because Court Justice Amy Coney Barrett has uh, done many harmful things to marginalized peoples um, and it's hypocritical for the university who prides itself on diversity and inclusion to invite someone who has harmed every single marginalized community in some way, shape or form and we are hoping that the university apologizes, recognize this, recognizes their wrongdoing, and um, works towards inviting people who represent the student body. Talking about inclusion and then inviting her, it's also part of a bigger problem, right? It's part of a systemic issue. The Supreme I think Court people are really fed up with the way that the Supreme Court runs and the way the judicial system has been, and especially just the democratic aspect of it and the fact that we don't really vote for these people and they do represent us and make such important decisions for us. And things like affirmative action affect people on campus a lot. I am here, the probably top reason is, is what the decision to overturn Roe v. Wade means for uh, women in this country and how it sends us back. The whole idea of being the victim of sexual assault and then wanting to relinquish a child for adoption that has come from sexual assault seems ludicrous. That would be the first reason. The second reason really has to do with, she to me is very racist. I'm also a person of color. I come from a traditionally marginalized community. The overturning of affirmative action, if something like that needs to be fixed, fix it. Don't take it away. Mm. Because people like me, we need that. We need Our that. Our brilliant to, to chant leader courageously stood up. obviously a protest against Amy Coney Barrett, but I would say there's two distinct messages that uh, SDS is trying to get across, that we're all trying to get across. Um, there's one to Amy Coney Barrett, and there's one to uh, the university, to University of Minnesota. Um, the first one against Amy Coney Barrett is that we do not abide by hate. We do not, um, this Supreme Court that she's part of does not represent us. Um, the way that she votes does not represent us. Her beliefs do not represent us. Um, and we're just trying to show clear and obvious dissent to her bad political opinions. Um, the message that we have to the university is why do you keep platforming people like her? Why do we continue to platform um, like what you're gonna hear from the speakers? Why do we keep platforming people that ostensibly promote hate, promote division, um, make decisions that do not represent the people? Um, these conservative right-wing, you know, think tank uh, figureheads, why do we keep platforming them when that does not represent your student body? Um, when your student body does not desire for those people to come to campus? Um, we, we really need a more diverse voice on campus. Um, the university talks big about diversity, equity, and inclusion, but the actions that they take, the speakers that they bring, do not reflect that.